two broke rednecks present. She spent hours trying to make herself more attractive. Sadly, she failed because she was but ugly. It might be a boy. Or Commissioner Gordon. Hello? Oh, hello, Lucille. Say what you have to say that I'm hanging up. He pretty nearly did today on the class bell rang. Yeah. Oh, he is creamy. Creamy? Did she jerk him off? Bob was growing up, too. Sadly, he suffered from early onset male pattern baldness. He also knew about masturbation. Or he became an expert at that. More mental than physical. He's mental? He knew that the healthiest life for him was to have plenty of exercise and fresh air. And to crank one out daily. And the coach was a hero who could do no wrong. Until he got Bob alone in the showers. Like him as he could. For Bob's search for approval from any male father figure. His interests were mainly masculine, and his success at sports made him sure of himself. So did his deodorant. Stride, just as he did games. So he sees girls as just pawns. Until one day, when Bob was 16, it became apparent that his interest in girls was getting to be more than casual. Do we really need to see this? I might. He's cheating on her. Ooh, that's nasty. I need to buy Bob some porn so he doesn't get hooked on spiking it to cartoons. Oh, hi, Ken. How are you? Say something, jerkwad. Oh, she's okay. But I can do better than her, Kenny. She's going around with Dave anyway. And Dave has Ebola. Well, let him keep it. Do you mind not pissing in the floor? Well, sure I could. I just didn't want to. Well, so what? I've got better prospects than her, too. I got a professionally drawn picture of Betty Naked. Sure, that's the one, Elsie. Yeah. I'm not sure what she's wearing, but it's butt well, ugly. I've got a car. Let's use it every Friday. I'm uh, taking her down to Slip's Pond tonight. We're going to watch the submarine races. Mom looks like somebody's holding a small turd under her nose. Looks more like she's taking you out. one 800 i am a hot meal. Bob's mom speaking. Is this Betty? Jane. How's Tarzan? I beg your pardon? Well, no, Hazel, he isn't in an... Look, you little slut, I'm not his answering service. No, I don't know where he was going. He didn't say. Not to me, anyway. Girls, girls, girls. Wasn't that the title of an Elvis film? Perhaps his behavior was normal, but it was not to her liking. She How preferred she he stay home and take care of her needs. Mary and her gang were going through the hangout stage. And plotting their next rumble. When you're not sure how to act or what to say. That's why she put straws in her nose. A girl has to look as though she knew her way around, be more sophisticated than she really is. Too bad Mary was a complete idiot. And Mary was proud of her success. She wanted the others to see how popular she was. Hi Mary, how about going to the dance with me Saturday night? Well, I'll think about it. Hey, wait a minute, what about me? You didn't ask me. Well, I was going to. But you didn't, though. Didn't Suck on it, suit boy. Good. See you around. A little popularity gives one self-confidence, which isn't a bad thing, in moderation. But for Mary, she quickly became known as the school sex pot. Let's do it here on the steps. Name. Good, it'll make me feel less guilty when I run him off. I told you not to buy her that IUD. It's costing me a fortune in bullets. No, but she made a complete ass for herself several times. There's no use saying don't to Mary. 
I tried it and she came on to me. Isn't there any positive approach to this business of sex education? She knows the physical facts, but that alone doesn't give her a healthy attitude to boys. And I'm afraid she'll bring a black one home. How to have fun with them without being silly. Well, I guess she'll just have to learn by experience how to look after herself. And we'll just write her off as a lost cause. By experience. She acquired a lot of social skills and graces. And even more sexual skills. She learned how other people are likely to react to different situations. Like how Lucille has anger management issues. She learned about herself. And how boys don't care what you say when you're just wearing a bra. she really liked most. One that's big, if you know what I mean. To help her develop sound judgment about boys. Remember, cut them when you're on your knees. Or the opinions of others. Because her mother never seemed shocked, Mary talked freely with her. And told her about all the boys she slept with. By 16 and a half, Mary had settled down to go steady with one boy, George Palmer. Who was a complete douche. He wasn't her ideal, but she liked going steady. Because it meant that she was always sure of having a date. And in spite of the fact she always had to pay. Her parents thought George was a nice boy, and they were glad to know who Mary was out with at first. He's going to try to rape her, isn't he? Her mother began to be afraid that the affair was becoming too serious. Why, when they caught her giving him head on the doorstep. We're at the point of breaking up anyway. Mary was tired of paying all the time. Time to get some late night sapo action. Go away, I'm combing my hair. I know what you're doing in there, you filthy degenerate. George again? No, that Presley boy. You know he's not going anywhere without music career. I told you, he's just a date. And a douchey cheapskate. The master would approve. George, it could get to be that way, you know. Then you would be trapped in a loveless marriage. But enough about your father and me. Okay, mother, if that's the way you feel about it, I won't see him anymore. Now will you please leave me alone? I got some hardcore moping to do. Toss it, sister. Dear Bark Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.